Hey everybody, what's up, what's up? It's Marky Mark and thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a Gershon product and I am really excited about this because Gershon actually reached out to me and asked me to do an Amazon review on a new product and then I said, can I put it on my YouTube? They said, go for it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. This is a glitter poly gel nail kit and it just comes with the glitters. There are three inside of this box. And inside the box also came with, you know, a little thank you note. So thank you, Gershon. There are three glitters in here. 019, 020, and 025. They are 30 mil bottles. And so that means, you know, they're double the size of what other ones come in. <laughs> If you don't know or you're new to poly gel and I'm just showing so that you know that this is a brand new product I have not tried it out yet you know it comes with the foil pieces and I'm taking it off so I'm just going in with that 019 on this graph paper index card and that's what that looks like this is 020 and this is 025 So 019 and 020 both seem to have like tiny little specks of iridescent, almost hollow like glitters. And it looks like these glitters are actually mixed into a colored poly gel base. And then when you look at 025, you can see that there's like bigger pieces, more sporadic dispersed glitters that looks like it may have been mixed into some clear poly gel. I am going to be applying this poly gel to my practice hand today. I've already prepped, shaped, file, done everything to the nail that I needed to. I am going in with this base coat and then I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. Also, I am using a Gershon base coat and top coat because I already have that from a previous kit. When I have my poly gel placed where I want it to be, I do flash cure it for about 10 to 12 seconds and then after it's all done, I go in for another 60 seconds. So enjoy the video. So I am noticing with this 025 that if you want the color to pop more, like you want that glitter to look a lot more dense and less spread out, then you're going to need a second layer or even a third one to achieve the look that you're looking for. So just keep that in mind.
for the sake of time, I went ahead and did all of my filing and shaping off camera. And you see me just going in with some young nail swipe to get rid of that excess dust. Y'all, I loved working with this. It went on so smooth. Like you can peep those video clips. Like, look at that. Like this was not very sticky. The consistency was almost to perfection. I needed very little slip solution. And y'all can see that final result. Like look at those glitters shining bright like diamonds. So go on ahead and hit that subscribe button, sound that notification bell, wreck that like button, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't like. Marky Mark out. Thank you.